this Sunday, whether you'll be rooting for Denver or Seattle, you've got to admit, even if you're going for nobody, you just want to watch the game. The technology involved with the Super Bowl, it's pretty cool. Oh, it includes the state of the art cameras that they've got in the stadium, Ultra HD TVs to watch at home, and also technology that gives fans more of a behind the scenes look at just about everything. Right, Jeff is here in studio with us with more on this. It is pretty cool. You got to admit that. Well, it is, and look at how fast it's progressed. The last time the Denver Broncos were in the Super Bowl was when they won back to back championships in 1998 and 1999. You fast forward to now and this is the kind of stuff that you see. This comes from the Seattle Seahawks website where they have photos, videos, podcasts. They have videos that are uploaded directly from the practices, from the press conferences. And uh, there's video as well from the Denver Broncos site. They have the same kind of thing. Twitter updates from the players and analysts covering the teams. And then, of course, there is Terrence Knighton, also known as Pot Roast. He's the six foot three, 330 pound defensive tackle for the Broncos, who was asked by Google to try on a pair of Google Glass and wear them throughout his Super Bowl experience and to regularly upload videos to his YouTube account, which he has been doing on a fairly consistent basis, like this one. Say what's up to the camera. Everybody say what's up to the camera. Security check, headed to the airplane. Colquitt, Cooper, Matt Prater. Headed to the airport, all the fans. So it's this montage that continues on and on as the team goes throughout New York, gets off the plane, checks into their hotel. It gives you a completely new perspective that we've never had from players. Now, will these players ever wear these on the field so we can get an idea of how it actually looks during a game? Who knows? That could be a concern with safety and that kind of thing. But also, I would have to point out that, you know, isn't there kind of a privacy issue? Like when these players are away from the cameras and away from the podiums, you know, I'm not sure if they would really want uh, something like this in their face all the time. They need time to kind of decompress and relax, don't you think? Well, but, yeah, but if one of their own is wearing it, I think that's different than maybe well, an outsider. Even then, that's kind of like myself or Dan walking up to your desk with Google Glass. And, hey, <laughs> right, Kiba, that's a good point. you're on TV again. That's if the commissioner point. says it could bring in an extra fill-in-the-blank amount of money, they'll all wear them. Yeah. yeah, just like they get fined if they don't talk to us. Mm -hmm. Money yeah. talks. Money talks. And we should point out the Kings were the first to do that. Remember, they That's did that right. in that game last week. Right? That's right. right. Yeah.